probably a big waste of money. <laughs> I know I told you guys recently in a recent video <laughs> that I am exhausted, uh, that I purchased probably the most worthless part for this Q50. So I wanna show you guys what that's all about. Well, let me show you guys now this worthless modification that you too can order from Z1 Motorsports. So here it is, the Infinity dipstick handle. Let me get it out in here and see how it feels. It's, it's pretty lightweight. It is metal, I imagine it's probably aluminum. Um, but it looks cool, nice and clean. A couple of little, little set screws here. Uh, they do give you an Allen wrench in its own little separate by a bag. I think insulation is gonna be pretty self-explanatory, but I guess let's get the hood open. Let's see what's involved with this. Here we got the factory dipstick out here and I really actually have no idea how this installs. I don't know if there's even any videos or even ins any instructions on Z1, but I imagine we want to keep all of this the same. I do see how this, there's a little, we want to keep all of this the same. This slides down into that uh, oil dipstick neck, that tube, uh, and that seals up. So we don't want to mess with that, I'm sure, and it's riveted on here to the dipstick itself. This little yellow handle does, I'm sure it's, molded onto this little thin rod. That rod happens to be a very similar diameter to the opening in this new handle. So I'm almost guessing we just kind of rip this yellow handle off. I'm not sure, I don't, I don't want to break it, but that's my guess. I don't think there's any easy way to get this off. I would just cut it right here at the base of the yellow, to be honest with you but I think I'm gonna cut it up high, see if we can scrape some of this yellow off. Um, and then just, that way it would give us a little bit of leeway if we need to trim a little bit back. But I wanna, I wanna get as much of this rod as possible, and I imagine it goes all the way up into this portion of the yellow handle. So I'm gonna put this on a little vise, cut it off here with a little saw. Uh, put a little tape over the infinity because I noticed my, the oily, fingers and shop fingers uh, are getting that little white uh, logo a little bit dirty so cover that up with some tape i'm going to again put this in the vise cut off the yellow handle let's see what's up and seriously i mean if we mess this up what, what's a dipstick for infinity like five bucks <laughs> nothing's five bucks from infinity Metal. I'm actually going to try to start snipping some of this back because it actually seemed to branch off into two. You can see little two little rods there. So the single rod is probably a little bit lower than that even. Okay. Yeah, actually, it's perfect. Just breaking that plastic away gives us a little glimpse of what we're looking at. So, I just want to cut it off, cut the flattened portion off so we have a fully round section. So, I'm just going to put this back in the vise and slice her off. You could do this with a cutoff wheel really fast or sawzall, but it's like two o'clock in the morning, so. Handsaw. Got just a couple little small burrs here on the end of it, which is to be expected. Some 120 grit sandpaper. Just gonna take care of that. Just make sure she 
it slides into the handle smoothly. Should take care of right there. A little bit more for good measure. Perfect. It's okay if it's not cut totally straight because there's a lot of room here in the handle. Um, obviously you need to take a little provided Allen wrench. Back these little set screws off a little bit. can see down in there but should be backed away enough or backed off enough please fit on oh, it does yeah, that's pretty money actually we just tighten these down making sure I mean you know you, the dipstick goes in straight so I'm trying to line the dipstick up the flat side with the flat side of the handle you can adjust it once it's in there, but we're going to try to get it straight right now. Obviously, just screw those set screws down. About 350,000 PSI of force or foot pounds of torque, and you should have a secure oil dipstick handle. I mean, if you want to get real crazy, you could put some glue in there, you know, or something. And really make it secure, but... That's all she wrote, fellas. That's it. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look. It was simple. This is just a little easy upgrade. Let's, let's stick it in the car. Let's, let's just stick it in the car. And there it is. I tell you what, let's get some light on this. There she is. Woof, gosh. I mean, it's a nice little piece of dress up, you know, a little accessory for under the hood of your Infinity. I think these will work for G35, G37, 350Z, 370Z, Q60s, Q50s, whole nine yards, right? Looks a little decent. The reason I say it's the most worthless upgrade is because you never see it. It's a tiny little thing. It's black. It doesn't really even stand out now except for the white Infinity logo, and I like it. But the thing is, that little sucker's $28. $28, and I think if you buy it by itself, it's like 5 or 6 or $8 shipping. So you're spending over $30 for this dumbass little oil dipstick handle. But, you know, what do you say? Infinity fanboy. You gotta buy everything with the Infinity logo on it, right?